Hi students. Section of solids to prisms to pentagonal prism. 25 mm side, 60 mm axis. Stand on HP on its base. This is cut by a cutting plane which is inclined at 40 degrees to HP bisecting the axis. 40 degrees to HP bisecting the axis. So I draw the plan and elevation of the prism. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I draw the elevation. I have kept a side parallel to VP. Then I draw the cutting plane. Where is the cutting plane? Cutting plane passes through. Cutting plane passes through midpoint of the axis. Cutting plane passes through midpoint of the axis and it makes 40 degrees to HP. 40 degrees to HP. Okay. Now, how many vertical edges does the cutting plane cut? The cutting plane cut all the five vertical edges. A dash, F dash, F1 dash, B dash, D dash, F2 dash, C dash, H dash, F3 dash, D dash, I dash, F4 dash, and E dash, J dash, F5 dash. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. I have marked the points in an order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in an order around the body. Okay. Now, this portion be lines below the cutting plane I have to darken. I have done that. I have darkened the lines below the cutting plane. That completes the sectional elevation. Sectional elevation of the Now, when you come to the plan, 1 dash when you drop down, you will get 1. 2 dash when you drop down, you will get 2. 3 dash will get 3. 4 dash will get 4. 5 dash will get 5. Connect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Other corners connected Since they are on the corners, there is no need of connecting them. Draw hatching lines. Draw hatching lines. What do hatching represent? Hatching represents the presence of freshly cut surface. Presence of freshly cut surface. So what you have completed? You have completed the section elevation. You have completed the sectional plan. Now, since the cutting plane is inclined, you have to look perpendicular to the cutting plane to see the true shape of the section. I repeat, whenever a cutting plane is inclined to the reference plane, you have to look perpendicular to the cutting plane to see the freshly cut surface to get true shape. So, where you have to look from? You have to look from this side. That means you have to draw a true shape, additional true shape. What you do is, draw a line parallel to the cutting plane. Draw a line parallel to the cutting plane. The line can be drawn here or here. If you draw here, it will mix up with the plan. To avoid that, you have to draw far away. So I draw it to this side. Drawing the x one y one here and the true shape here is the correct thing. But drawing it here and true shape here is more convenient. This is more correct. This is more convenient. You can note any of the method. The textbooks do not specifically say it should not be drawn here. It should be drawn here. You would have arrived, but you would have arrived. Don't worry. You would have arrived. That is correct. You would have arrived. That is convenient. Every day, x one by one cutting plane is parallel to each other. The cutting plane and x one by one must be parallel to each other. Okay, my cutting plane is not parallel. Yep, okay, now what? Now you have to draw projectors perpendicular to the cutting plane from one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Projectors perpendicular to the cutting plane from one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. इधर वाले की बोल रही है कि सोती के अंदर ये x1 by 1, x1 by 1 elevation का प्रथम वाले किया। Preferably draw x1 by 1 outside the elevation. If it fall on the elevation, the true shape will mix up with the elevation. Avoid that. As you know, a drawing will have an important aspect called presentability. When you draw and present it in the best possible way, it will always carry some credit, the neatness, agreed? So, this sort of things can add neatness to your drawing. If you draw it inside, it will mix up and if you go wrong, you will have to rub and the whole drawing will be shabby when you finally finish. Okay. Now, draw per projectors perpendicular to x1 through 1 dash, through 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash. Agreed? 
perpendiculars. Now, take the distance of 1 from xy. This much is the distance of 1 from xy, same is the distance of 3 from xy. Take the distance in your compass and on the projected through 1 dash from x1 y1, you have to mark that. What do you get? You get 1 1 and you will get 3 1. Take the distance of 5 and 4, same distance. Mark on the projected through 5 dash, you get 5 1 and here you will get 4 1. Take the distance of 1 from x, I mean 2 from xy and mark on the projected through 2 dash, you get 2 1. Connect them. 1 1 dash, 2 1 dash, I mean 1 1 1, 2 1, 3 1, 4 1, 5 1, 1. Hatch them at 45 degrees to this x1 y1. What do you get? You get true shape. So how did that, how did you draw the true shape? Draw x1 by 1 parallel to the cutting plane, draw projectors through 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash, perpendicular to x1 by 1, then take the distance of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from xy and mark on the respective projector. Respective perpendicular projector which you have drawn. You have got the true shape of section. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.